everyone, welcome to 2022 Taiwan International Water Week on air. I'm your host, Tracy Wong. Here we are at Violia Water Technologies, and standing next to me is Mr. Tony O, oh, CEO of Southeast Asia. Hello, very Hello. welcome. Thank you, thank you for welcoming me. Uh, my name is Tony Ong, I'm the Southeast Asia CEO. We'd like to introduce our Violia, uh, the world number one water treatment company. Uh, which I'm very proud of. I'm working in this company for about 30 years. The biggest uh, challenge of the world today is the sustainability of water, resources and energy. Mm. And Violia happens to have all the technology that's available in uh, making the world a more sustainable uh, economy. Okay, and uh, we cover from te uh, water technology from process water to waste water, reclaim, uh, and energy recovery, uh, producing energy from wastewater, and that is a technology that we are proud of. But I think the most important thing of today is not only the technology that we have, but it's about the technology that we apply in making the world more sustainable. That's right. So this is the, the technologies that uh, the company that have come with a, a strong uh, process know-how, a strong uh, operational uh, concept, mm -hmm. which makes the world better place. That's right. Thank you. Now standing next to me is Mr. Justin Wan, Country Director of Taiwan. Hello, Mr. Wan. Thank Hello. you for joining Thanks. us. Okay, Mr. Ong just gave us an introduction of your company. Now can you um, give us some example what technologies uh, to make your product unique? Can you give us some examples with your exhibit this time? Yeah, thank you. I think if we can refer to the 3D model uh, after me, uh, this is the barrel. The barrel is consisting of a series of uh, our membrane, uh, which is encased in a carbon steel hybrid vessel. And this barrel system was designed in a very uh, modular design, so it makes this can be easily, highly scalable, which can offer in a varying capacity from 400 to 50,000 cubic meters per day per unit. And also, in this barrel system, we can monitor the performance of each RO module, which can save the overall OPEX of the system. So with this plug-and-play feature, it can be deployed in many different scenarios. So can you give us some examples? Okay. Uh, thanks to the uh, plug-and-play design, actually this system can install uh, outdoors without building, without HVAC. This can short the overall project schedule. And can reduce the footprint in almost 25% as compared to the conventional hour scheme. And you can imagine the energy saving of this uh, module can, can provide. As to the application wise, besides the desalination, everybody know already, and for the water reclaim, reuse, or even for low pressure ROs application, this barrel also can be applicable. I think about the installation, uh, we have several cases over uh, worldwide mm -hmm. already. And one of the installations at the San Martin Island, uh, after the Hurricane Almas attack, this barrel is the only equipment which still attack at the water treatment plant. So this makes the overall water supply can immediately resume after the hurricane. And you can imagine how strong, how uh, robust this uh, barrel is. Thank you very much, Justin. Thank, Thank you, you for your introduction. Thank you.